Okay, so here's the deal. Tesla's bot caught a tennis ball twice. And I know what you're thinking, uh, okay, what's so special about that? But hear me out. This is a deal. Catching something mid-air with robotic hands is crazy hard. Like, think about it. That ball is flying through the air and the bot has to see it, predict where it's going, move its hand at the perfect speed and bam, catch it. It's not just reacting, it's planning in real time. And it didn't just get lucky once. It did it. Back to back. If you're watching this footage, squinting at the screen like this has to be CGI, yeah. Same. The motion is so smooth, so it's hard to believe it's real, but it is. All right, let's break it down. Two things make this possible. One, lightning fast reflexes. The Tesla bot processes a ton of data. It's using cameras, sensors, algorithms, all working together to track the ball and move with pinpoint accuracy. Two, insane hand dexterity. And then there are the hands. Oh man, these hands, they're not just grabbing the ball, they're adjusting pressure, coordinating fingers. It's next level stuff. Like, these aren't clunky robot claws. These hands are, well, they're impressive. Okay. Quick disclaimer, the demo, it was teleoperated, which means a human was controlling the bot. And you might be thinking, wait, doesn't that ruin the magic? But no, not really, here's why. Translating human movements into robotic actions in real time with this kind of precision, that's still a massive leap forward. It's like laying the groundwork for what could one day be autonomous robots. So yeah, it's a big deal. All right, now let's talk about the hand. Because honestly, it's the real star here. Tesla's new robotic hand has 22 degrees of freedom. For context, that's almost as much as the human hand. And uh, if you've ever seen a robot hand before, you know how rare that is. At the Wii Robot event, they showed this hand doing its thing. And wow, it's wild. The way it moves, it's fluid, precise, and so human-like. This hand isn't just about mimicking gestures. It's functional. It can grip, twist, manipulate objects, you name it. Now, let's talk about Elon Musk for a second. You knew this was coming, right? So, in classic Elon fashion, he's already making some big promises. He says, the Tesla bot will one day play the piano and guitar. And, uh, yeah, that sounds insane. But think about it. Playing an instrument isn't just about hitting the right notes. It's about feel, timing, pressure, dynamics. Even humans struggle with this stuff. But if Tesla can pull it off... Oh man, that would be something else. Imagine a robot jamming out to Beethoven and shredding a guitar solo. Oh, and get this, Elon also wants the bot to thread a needle. Yep, threading a needle. If you've ever tried that, you know how frustrating it can be. It's all about precision. Lining up a tiny thread with an even tinier hole. For the bot, this would mean using its vision system to guide the thread into the needle with no guides or tools, just the bot's eyes and its freakishly dexterous hands. If they pull this off, wow, that would be huge. Like game-changing levels of precision. Oh, and here's a fun little detail. The bot's fingers. They're not all the same length, just like ours. And uh, that's not random. Different finger lengths actually improve dexterity. It's one of those things you don't really think about, but it makes a big difference when you're trying to do complex tasks. All right, let's zoom out for a second. This isn't just about catching tennis balls or threading needles. Tesla's building something way bigger here. They're creating a, a foundation for robots that could one day work alongside humans. Like, imagine a future where robots handle dangerous or repetitive tasks so we can focus on... Well, the fun stuff, creativity, problem solving, whatever makes us human. And at the pace Tesla's moving, that future might be closer than we think. So what do you think? Does this tech get you excited? Maybe a little nervous? Either way, it's happening and it's happening fast. If you enjoyed this breakdown, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, if you've got thoughts or wild ideas for what the Tesla bot should do next, drop them in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. This channel is all about keeping you in the loop on AI, robotics, and the future of tech. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay curious, my friends.